with uh, our team. Um, you have a button that you can click uh, to request um, a demo directly. Um, for those who might be new to Gmailius, um, let me quickly introduce um, our, our solution. Uh, Gmailius is a collaboration and workflow automation platform uh, that allows teams to be able to work more efficiently, make their customers happier, uh, save time and money working on different projects, um, etc. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on three of our uh, core or our three core concepts. Uh, we have what we call shared inboxes, shared Gmail labels, and Kanban uh, boards. Uh, before we dig into those uh, features specifically, um, let's talk a bit about um, some typical pain points that brings teams to, to Gmailius. Um, now, regardless of what features you're using in Gmailius, um, what we've seen is a few common pain points that bring teams to us. There's things like not having visibility on who is doing what, battling double replies, uh, missing emails, um, just in general, not being able to work as efficiently as you'd like um, to do. Um, with that being said, uh, we're going to get started. And um, for those of you um, who are new to Jamilius again, uh, Jamilius works as an extension to your browser meaning that it's a simple um, installation that will then integrate uh, with your Gmail uh, inbox, basically. So you don't have to learn a new platform. Uh, it will be an interface that you and your team members are familiar with. Um, so the learning curve is gonna be significantly um, lower compared to um, any other uh, solution. Um, starting with our shared inboxes, um, if you're not familiar with the concept of a shared inbox and what it is, it basically allows uh, users to work uh, together on incoming emails, um, knowing exactly who is doing what um, at any spe specific time. Now, a shared inbox is tied to a specific email address, meaning that um, you can have an info at, uh, support at, uh, sales at, etc. email address. Uh, that your team is collaborating on. Uh, this can be either a simple uh, primary account, so it's essentially an email with its own inbox, but it can also be um, a Google group or an email uh, alias. So either of those work, you can set them up as a shared inbox in um, Gmailius. So how it all works is that the whole concept is, uh, and the whole idea is for every team member to be able to work from uh, their own individual inboxes. So no more password sharing, no more forwarding, CCing of emails, that is just gonna clutter your inboxes um, in the long term. Um, on the left-hand side, you see your um, uh, sidebar, and you will notice that a bit further down, you have uh, what is called, in this case, an info team inbox. Um, so it can be a generic info email address, support, etc. And whenever someone sends me an email to my group email, whether it's info at, um, sales at, et cetera, it will land into this unassigned folder. So you can see it as an additional inbox in your, in your account, but it's divided so it doesn't clutter your inbox. When you click in to uh, one of the emails that has been sent to your shared inbox address, you will see that the right sidebar is gonna open, open automatically. Now this is where you have all the tools that you need to be able to manage these emails efficiently, uh, being able to collaborate and um, have a clear uh, overview of ownership of the emails. So the first thing you see is the assignments. Um, so what you can do is assign, or if you prefer to use the word delegate, um, an email to a specific team member. So whenever an email comes in, I can assign it to myself or any other of my team members, uh, which will move the email from unassigned to the mind folder of that person and every other member of the team will be able to see this email as well under assigned because all the replies within this shared inbox space uh, is synced automatically, meaning that you will have full transparency and visibility on your email communications. If in the instance uh, I have a conversation, a thread uh, with a client, for example, and it might be that I'm out of the office or I might not be able to handle a specific query, I can always change the um, assignee and that person will have access to the whole conversation um, without 
having to forward or CC whatsoever. Um, the other thing that you see here is the status of the email. So a status um, is always going to be open by default, either when there's a new email coming in or uh, when there is a reply from, for example, a customer. This shows you that this is something that needs your immediate attention. You can change the status to pending. Uh, let's say that you're waiting for an investigation to be finished um, on, uh, on a bug uh, that has been uh, reported by one of your clients and you need uh, developers to fix it before you get back to them and say that it's been resolved, uh, then you can mark it as pending. Um, or you can mark something as closed um, whenever you have completed something. Uh, you do also have in the, um, when you hit reply, you have a send and close button at the bottom. So that will automatically change the status of the email to closed and it will go into the closed folder on the left side. So no emails are, are lost whatsoever. Uh, they're just marked as completed so that you can focus on uh, the open and active conversations that you have in your in your mind folder. Um, tags uh, are used as a way for you to be able to contextualize an email. So let's say that in this case, I had a question about um, or a query about a bug. Uh, it might be um, something related to um, sales, if I work in a sales team, a refund, churn, whatever it might be, the purpose of the text is for you to have some context to an email. So when I go into the unassigned folder, I have uh, these tags so that I can easily identify what the conversation is about. You can also use it, as you can see here, for SLAs, um, also priorities, uh, if you'd like, uh, so that you know um, how to prioritize your, your work. Um, further down as well, you will see um, another key part of uh, not only shared inboxes, but Gemini as a whole, um, and that's our notes. Um, what the notes allow for you to do is to basically uh, collaborate with your team members in real time. Let's say that you need help from someone in order to uh, get back to a client about their query. You can add mention uh, and ping a specific colleague. Um, if you're doing a handoff, for example, you can also send them a quick uh, FYI note, uh, letting them know um, that you've spoken to them uh, on the phone, for example, you have some additional information. Uh, so instead of forwarding emails, um, CCing each other, you can have a conversation in real time uh, in the notes um, without uh, any uh, friction, so to say. The notes are linked to the email thread so you will have the full context of uh, what the conversation uh, is about. Um, some of the most qu common questions we get uh, when working with a shared inbox is, well, since I'm working from my personal email, when I reply to that email, is it gonna come from my personal email or from the uh, shared inbox address? And that is um, a very good question. It's something that is very easily set up most teams uh, want to respond from their group email whether it's info at sales at or support at uh, with a simple um what, what is called send mail as in your gmail settings you're able to reply from the group email um even automatically meaning that when you hit reply by default it's going to respond from the group email um, you might also wonder you know the assignments adding tags etc um if it's a possibility to do it um, automatically. You might have some emails that always go to the same person, whether it's a specific a client or a specific type of query that goes to a specific person. Now you can use um, Gmail's automation uh, rules um, to automate a lot of different things. It can be anything from a simple auto reply, as you can see here, uh, but you can also um, trigger for an email to be assigned to a member of your team automatically based on different criteria, um, such as uh, the email subject line, the content of the email, the send, uh, sender email, even the time when the email comes in. So you can focus on what is important and you can let Jamelius do uh, that work um, for you instead. Something that is quite unique um, for Jamelius is that we offer a way for you to be able to visually manage your shared inbox. And this is what you find on the left pane under what we call board view. So what the board view does, it gives you a visual representation of your shared inbox. You will have the unassigned 
um, column, which represents the unassigned um, folder. And each user on your team will have their own column, meaning that you, as a manager, for example, can easily see the workload of the team members. If Tarek would uh, call in sick one day, you can easily see the emails that are assigned to him and reallocate it to other members of the team to ensure that those emails uh, get responded to. Um, you can use this to add due dates, priorities, uh, etc. as well, of course, and the boards, as always, can be fully customized uh, to your specific needs. If you want to work with it in a different way, to have different steps in your processes, that's also uh, possible as well. Um, we know that being able to track the performance of the team, being able to track the, the workload uh, in order to evenly distribute the workload um, is important. That's why Jimenez offers uh, analytics, um, which means that you can, from your dashboard, um, track the performance of your team. You can see uh, on different dimensions, such as new conversations, so how much is coming into your shared inbox, um, what is the team performance per on a team member level, um, the productivity, how quickly are emails getting responded to, and then last but not least, which was quite recently um, added to the analytics part is the report uh, reports on tags. So if you want to be able to identify, for example, how many emails you received with the um, um, tag bug, for example, you can get information and reports uh, on that as well especially if you might be working with a generic info at email uh, inbox, can imagine that you get all sorts of different types of, of queries, even in a support uh, mailbox. Um, so that way you can get better insights into what type of, of queries that you receive. Now, let's say that you don't necessarily work with a group email, but you work um, more with, with clients. You have your clients that you work with or you have your projects that you're working on where you're in touch with uh, different external partners. And this is where our shared Gmail labels come in. Now, a shared Gmail label compared to a shared inbox is not attached to a specific email address, meaning that you have a bit more control over what you share. So in the instance that I work primarily out of my personal inbox, I don't want to share every single email sent to my address because some of the emails are private. However, I'm working on a project with a client um, and I have different communications with external partners. I need to be able to collaborate efficiently with my team internally um, to find ways to um, have visibility on what is the progress in the process of this uh, specific project. Um, I might need to delegate some of the emails and tasks to other team members. And again, without having to forward um, emails to uh, my team members. So what I can do is I can select an email in my personal inbox and I can apply a label to it. So in this case, I have a client clerk label. When I apply that label, um, it will go into the specific folder on the left side and whoever is part of this label will be able to see this email as well. Meaning that I don't have to CC or forward this email, I can simply apply um, the shared label to the conversation and my team members will be able to see it. I will have the exact same capabilities of being able to add notes, uh, assign a conversation, change the status, etc. just like with the shared inbox. Um, add due dates, et cetera. Um, but I have a bit more control over what I, what I share. Now, let's say that you want to take it to the next uh, level and you want to be able to visually manage uh, your project or your process. Uh, this is where our boards come in. So you saw a sneak peek of the boards before in the board view. Now, any shared label that you set up can also be synced with a board. So in my case here, I have the client Clark. So these two are connected. Anytime that I add an email to this label, it will go as well to this board. As you can see, the difference is that in the board, I have this visual uh, overview where I can create columns that would represent the different steps in my process uh, or processes. Um, but I can still work with assignments, etc. cetera. Um, 
due dates, I can add some automation into these columns, for example, for having specific steps in my processes um, be delegated to a specific person. Um, so working with the boards allows for you to visually manage any kind of project or process that you're working on. Note as well that uh, Jamilis has a few integrations. Um, for example, Trello, uh, you can either export um, a board inside of Jamilis to Trello or import one from Trello, and they sync it both ways. Um, same with Slack. Uh, you can connect your shared inbox or your shared label with a Slack channel, and you can um, do exactly the same thing as you would do from Jima, whether it's assigning a conversation or whether it's adding a note, changing a status of, of a conversation. Um, and I think that's pretty much it on the, I don't know if, if you, Michelle, have gotten any questions yet on the, on the, on the chat. Um, no, you pretty much no. covered everything. Thank you so much. I'll share mm. a link to the trial. If you haven't Perfect. started one yet, there's a free 14 day trial you can start and check it out yourself, or you can request a one-on-one -on -one demo um, using mm. that button at the bottom of the video. That's perfect. And yeah, so uh, depending on your team's specific needs, requirement and expectations, you might use one of these uh, features or tools, you might use a combination of different. Uh, we'd love to uh, hear more about your team specific use cases. So please don't hesitate. Don't be afraid and, and go ahead and click that button to schedule a one-on-one -on -one, um, demo. And we'll be happy to uh, dig a bit deeper into your specific use cases and um, answer any additional questions that you might have. Um, I would say that, you know, live before and after Jimmy's, so to say, is you're going to notice quite quickly that it's going to be significantly uh, different. Even small things like using the notes as a way to collaborate is going to save you a lot of uh, time um, and not having to clutter your inboxes uh, on a daily basis. Uh, we know how messy uh, it can get. Uh, so if you're able to stay organized, uh, and work efficiently, collaborate without frustrations. Uh, you're gonna have happier teams. Uh, and as far as I know, happy teams deliver great customer experiences. Uh, good, uh, perfect. So I think we covered everything. Uh, as we said, um, happy to connect with any of you um, if interested uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.